Welcome to review from the opposition for the game against Middlesbrough up at Teesside last Saturday where the Lions came out 3-0 uh, loss against a, a solid but not particularly entertaining Middlesbrough side who got three goals in the space of five minutes which turned the game. Um, if you didn't manage to see the game, to be honest, I think we had more possession than, than Middlesbrough did throughout the course of the game. But after they got those three goals, they kind of just sat back and, and soaked up what very little toothless um, attacking threat we had. In fact, until uh, Burley came on in the second half, I'm not sure that we um, even really created a clear opportunity. So big problems there for, for Gary Rowett to try and get his head round and think before we go on to the even more tricky away day in my eyes, which is the Bristol City game on Wednesday evening. Um, let's a lot, a lot has been said, I think, on social media. A lot of people are talking about wanting Gary Rowett out, um, even some other prominent social media channels yesterday, saying the reasons why they think that is. Again, for my money, I've said this before, the events of the last week, am I surprised that we look tired? Am I surprised that we look demoralised? No, on both of those fronts. I said that after the Derby game, that basically, um, if you are going to boo your home team after they have made a statement, clearly stating their opinion, then you're going to cause you know, a hit to their morale. That happened against Derby County. We didn't have a great game then. I mean, I thought we were better against QPR, but, but yesterday we were undone in a five-minute spell. The first goal, I can't even say it was particularly well worked, but, you know, a bit of it bobbles around in the middle there for a little bit and it's, and it's poked home. The second goal's a good finish. There's no two ways about that. Should we have cleared it on the right-hand side? Yeah, quite possibly. It looks like there were a couple of people maybe out of position for that, but he cuts back on his left foot and it's a cracking strike you know I mean there's no way that Bart's going to save that and in the space of two minutes we're 2-0 down away at Middlesbrough they can then sit back and kind of just hit us on the counter and very much play like we normally do um, and at the moment you know as I said with my um, my preview to this game we've got six or seven players carrying a knock we've got we're relying on young guys coming into the team like Burley who who did very well and created really our only opportunity Matt Smith um who sort of hit it wide from just inside the penalty spot um we we didn't really get going at all yesterday i think you know when you've got a team of Middlesbrough's quality, as I said, seventeen and a half million pounds their wage bill is compared to ours, which is nine. We, you're always going to struggle, especially if you go away and you're three 0 down after twenty minutes. Um, what's really important, basically, is that. But I think people need to, to get behind the team. This is this is this is a bad run. There's no two ways about it. Uh, winless in eleven now. Um, the formation doesn't look like it seems to be working particularly well. There's, there was a lot of talk as well on social media about wanting to go back to a four four two, which I see the idea. I think we we did a, a four four one one against Preston, and obviously that that gave us those um, gave us a result up there. I think we really look to be missing Connor Mahoney. I mean, Burley could be a, a, a good standing for the time being, but it's just clear at the moment that morale is really down. And, and Gary's got a very difficult job now to try and turn that round in the middle of what is a very difficult run. And we're coming up to Christmas. I think I said there's eight or nine games in December for us anyway with the squad size that we've got. It's a game just under uh, or just over every three days. Uh, we've got 24 players in the squad, seven of which have got a knock. So that's a third of our team. You know, and we don't have the strength in depth that other teams have, as Middlesbrough do. Um, we're now going to face Bristol City. Very tricky game there. I think a draw would be a good result. We can get back to the Den. And then I think the next game at the Den, unfortunately for Gary Rowett, is going to be crucial um, for his tenure. I disagree with that. I think we need to give him more time, at least another transfer window. Um, when I spoke to one of my friends who runs an analytical service um, for a betting syndicate, he said when he runs the numbers on the teams in the championship, Millwall are the 13th best side uh, based on the numbers that, that, that they use. So we're not a million miles away from that, actually. And I think that it just gives us an idea that maybe earlier in the season we were punching above our weight, as I think we always do in the championship. 
What's important is we try and keep our unity. We've got to support Gary Rowett for the time being. He is limited in the options of, with what he could do. Yes, he could change formation. Let's see if he does at Bristol City and we do something slightly different. It's going to be tough, uh, Millwall fans, but but let's try and stick together. Season of goodwill. Let's give Gary Rowett some goodwill. Until after the Bristol game, uh, I'll be speaking to um, Nottingham Forest fans this week on view from the opposition for our game this Saturday against Nottingham Forest. Until then, speak to you later. Bye-bye. 